How does tea grow? Tea comes from leaves picked from an evergreen bush called Camellia sinensis. Black, green and white tea are all made from the same plant. The different colours and flavours depend on the climate and location that the tea is grown in, and then also in the way the tea is processed. Tea grows best when the climate is warm and there's plenty of rain. A lot of tea is grown in Kenya. In fact, after China and India, Kenya is the third biggest tea producer in the world. This is where three quarters of the tea we drink in the UK comes from. A tea plant starts life as a seed or as a cutting taken from the parent plant. On this plantation in Kenya, they usually use cuttings. The small plants are protected from sunlight and pests inside this polytunnel. This is where they will grow for 10 months until they are 60 centimetres tall and ready to be planted in the main fields. After three years, the bush is mature enough and they begin picking the tea. In Kenya, tea is harvested all year round. They only pick the two newest leaves and the bud. Because almost all tea is picked by hand, the tea bush is kept at waist height so it's easier for the workers to reach. New leaves are picked from the bush every 7 to 15 days. The tea leaves are taken from the fields to the processing house on lorries. The lorry has specially designed hooks to hang the bags of tea on. This stops the leaves spilling out or getting damaged. Once the tea arrives at the factory, it's unloaded and checked for quality. Next, the tea is loaded onto this special machine and taken to be processed. First, the tea is dried. This process is called withering. They wither the tea by blowing warm air over the leaves. The withered leaves are then placed onto a conveyor belt, ready for the next step. This machine finely chops and flattens the leaves. Then a process called oxidation starts. This develops the flavour of the tea and makes it change from a bright green to brown colour. Now the tea needs to be dried out completely. This oven is warmed up to 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and the water content reduces from 86% to 3%. It takes 4 kilograms of fresh leaves to make just 1 kilogram of dried tea leaves. The dried tea is now graded in this machine. Each sieve is a different size, so it collects the largest leaves at the top and the smallest ones at the bottom. The larger leaves are used for loose leaf tea. The smaller ones will go into tea bags. Once the tea has been processed, it is loaded into 60 to 70 kilogram tea sacks. They are lined with silver foil to protect the tea from absorbing moisture. Then they are shipped from Mombasa in Kenya to Liverpool, ready to be made into tea bags.